Yes, yes, yes. I know Republicans aren't the only ones who oppose same-sex marriage, but it's their issue, so this is for them. I've got a simple, obvious solution to the whole controversy, and it's a conservative solution. Liberals who want government to do everything might not like it, but I don't see how they can object. First, let's step back a little. There are plenty of moderates who are willing to offer gay and lesbian couples all the legal benefits of marriage, as long as it's not called marriage. Gays and lesbians want more, though. They won't settle for civil union. They want to be married. So, what's the difference? A civil union is a legal contract guaranteed and enforced by the state. Marriage is a social contract recognized and endorsed by the community. Marriage was around long before there was writing, much less written law. Most of the opposition to same-sex marriage comes from certain religious groups who make arguments based on their particular beliefs. Certainly, they're entitled to believe what they believe. Like it or not, we're all entitled to believe what we believe. So, the solution's simple. Put the churches in charge. Let's get government off our backs and hand the whole issue of who can and who can't be married back over to religion where it belongs. Any religious group that can qualify for a tax exemption can marry whoever they damn well please. Find a church to marry you, get married, and get all the legal benefits of being married. It's that simple. If Episcopalians want to marry gay couples, God bless them. If Southern Baptists say no, that's fine too. Modern American religion is very heterogeneous, so even atheists should be able to find a tax-exempt atheist church willing to help them tie the knot. If there aren't any now, let's face it, conservatives, the free market will provide. I suppose it's possible that some Mormon splinter sex or the occasional church of opportunism might sanctify some marriages the rest of us might find, uh, well, distasteful, but then the churches would have to fight it out, from the pulpit, in the media, whatever. Or they could go to court to challenge each other's tax-exempt status and force their opponents out of business. Hell, the Baptists and the Episcopalians might fight it out for years. Me, I say, let them. What do you think?